What's up? Inside is Deuces Jacket Vaping Insider. Today we're going to be going over a mod with an awesome chipset. We're talking about that DNA 250C. I'm talking about one of the mods that was in my top 10 mods of the year. Yes, the full review is finally here. We're talking about the Think Vape Augzo. Before we get into the video, click the link down below in the top comment in order to join our Facebook group. I got the red one. A lot of people believe the DNA chipset is the best on the market. Okay, you open it up. This is what you get. You get a one-year limited warranty card. Okay, there you go. You also get this user manual right here. We're going to pluck it and file it. And look at that gorgeous thing, huh? Check that out. Is that not beautiful or what? I'm kind of digging it, man. Let's put it on deck for a second. You also get this rather nice, long, micro USB cable. What a shame, though, right? Evolve, evolve. I think it's time for you to go to a Type-C charging cable, Type-C charging port. Kind of ridiculous that you're still using micro USB cable. Let's start out on top. All right, kind of a weird top plate, right? It's kind of got like this raise here, right? Which I don't know why they did that, man. Why didn't you just make this flat? You got four screws holding the top plate in place. Gold-plated 510 that I would say has a stiff spring with a medium throw to it. Stainless steel threading around the inside. But I got to tell you, man, this top plate, this top plate bothers me so much because almost anything you put on this looks like it gapped. Why not just make it flat, Think Vape? I mean, come on, man. It's one of those cases where they're just trying to be too fancy. Come on, man. I mean, enough already. But uh, let's go on to the mod. All right. You can see you got this nice raised lever style fire button. It does have a little bit of a mush to it, but it is sensitive. It's not a bad fire button. It really isn't. In here, in the middle right here, you got your menu button, plus, minus. There's your screen. There's your old micro USB port. Now, what I really like about this mod is I like the different textures. You guys know I'm all about textures, right? They got like this screen part over here, right? They got some metal over here. You got some leather here with a little bit of Augzo branding. You got some more metal. By the way, the leather is just beautiful looking. You got some Think Vape branding here with some red on red stitching. I like that. I just like the different textures when you feel it, right? You feel the metal, then the leather, then the metal again. Just a really nice job as far as the texture and the look of this goes. It's got a little bit more of an industrial look than, say, something like the Centaurus, which is a very similar mod with the exact same chipset, all right? So that's why I really do dig the looks of this. And I know some people didn't like the looks of the Centaurus. So if you didn't, this is a viable option. Did you catch that? Did you see that? Spring-loaded door. Definitely, definitely digging that. Okay. Some type of serialization, I'm guessing. All right. The battery indicator markings, negative, positive, black on black. Bad job. Gold-plated battery contacts right here. Okay. If you look down the tubes, you can see a plus and minus in red and blue. And in the middle of that plus and minus sign, the negative and positive sign, is a gold-plated, spring-loaded battery contact. All right? So let's pop some batteries in here. Positive side up by the door. Negative side up towards the end. Boom. Nice battery door. It don't pop open. I put this thing down on the desk card. No issues. I've been using this thing for a long time now, and no issues whatsoever. You see, Augzo 250C branding on the bottom, okay? Five clicks. There's your front screen right there, okay? It says Think Vape Augzo. Five clicks to unlock it. They got a little preloaded color screen there, okay? Let's go over the screen real quick. There's your resistance, your battery meter, your battery percentage, your mode, your wattage, your settings. Now, I've gone through this menu system a million times, right? See watts highlighted. Once it's highlighted, you can scroll up or down. Whatever you land the highlight on, hit the menu button. Now you can scroll through the different menu systems. Canthal, replay, 
stainless steel 430, stainless steel 316, titanium, nickel, watt boost, and back to watts. You want to stay on watts, hit the menu button. Scroll down to the wattage, hit the menu button. Now it goes up in 0.15 watt increments. Okay, we're going to scroll it all the way up to 200 watts. Okay, it does not round the robin. You want to go back down, you got to go back down that way. We'll put it back to 68 watts. Hit the menu button again. Go down to the settings. Now you can go into your atomizer, your puff info, your diagnostics, your system, and back. Very, very simple, very straightforward menu system. Very, very customizable as per uh, eScribe, their proprietary software. You can go in there, change all the settings, change all the boosts. It, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do via eScribe if you want to do so. It's not a problem. You can change the colors. You can change the screen. You can change almost anything and everything on this chipset via eScribe. So that's a nice job. Yeah, man. I mean, it's just a nice looking mod. It's got a nice hefty industrial look to it. Now, I thought the best thing to compare it to would be the Lost Vape Centaurus. This has also got a lot of miles on it, as you can tell by the leather. All right. Um, this leather hasn't gotten darker like the Centaurus leather did. The Centaurus leather used to be much thinner. This leather seems much more durable. I've used this almost as much as I've used this. And the leather has held up, man. It just looks really nice. So that's definitely a pro. But you can see... It's uh, slightly, maybe slightly shorter, right? Definitely feels a bit wider in the hand, okay? But pretty much, if you're not a fan of the Centaurus, the look of it, and you want something a little different, definitely check out the Think Vape Augzo. You can see I got a little bit of a scratch there. I did that because I use this a lot. I'm constantly putting it in and out of my pocket. It did not come like that. But yeah, man, I mean... This is a perfect alternative to the Lost Vape Centaurus. It really is. Now, as far as what atomizers will fit on there, here's my gunmetal mongrel on there, which not for nothing, I think looks kind of badass on there. I really do. But you see what I'm talking about here? You see? See that little, see that little gap, right? And then they did this edge right here. So, yeah, the mongrel is 25, but it still kind of hangs over the side and that popped up top plate makes it look even worse. You understand what I'm saying? Like, why didn't you just flatten this thing down here, Think Vape? It's, it's really, I don't know why they did that. I really don't. But you see, it looks like you got a gap there, right? Even though you really don't because it's sitting flush on the slightly raised top plate. But yeah, 25s are probably going to be it. You know what I mean? It, as you can see. You know, the bevel doesn't help either. If they wouldn't have beveled out that, you probably could have gotten 28s on it. But, you know, there's no doubt about it. The mongrel looks kind of sexy on there. It really does. All right, insiders. Let's get into those cons and pros. We're going to start off with cons as usual. I only got two. I only got two cons, okay? First con has to do with the mod. That funky mm -hmm. top plate that I showed you in the down low, it makes almost everything look like it's gapping. Okay, I don't know why Think Vape did that. Why didn't you make a flat top plate? It's a ridiculously stupid move. I hate when companies do that kind of stuff, man. Stop trying to be fancy, bro. Just make the thing flat on top. I don't want to see no gappage. And the other con is for Evolve. It's time for Evolve to Evolve. Mm -hmm. Evolve, you got to start putting Type-C charging ports on your chipset. These micro USB charging ports are just ridiculous. But that's it on the cons. Let's move on to the pros. We got plenty of pros on this one. Like I said, this made my top 10 videos, so we got pros. First pro is gonna be really nice build quality. Build quality on this is nice, looks nice. They did a good job on it. I like the different textures, right? I like the way you go from the metal to the leather, back to metal again. I like the cuts in it. I like the roughness you get when you put it in your hand. I'm big on textures when it comes to mods. I like different textures, and I'll tell you what, this one is fantastic in that category. That spring-loaded battery door, that switchblade action, baby, love it. It's good looking, right? It's a good looking alternative to something like, say, the Lost Vape Centaurus, right? 
or even the new Thelema 250C, right? Maybe that look is not your jam. Maybe you like this more semi-industrial look. I like the look of it. I think they did a bang-up job on it. It's a pro. I already said it, right? DNA 250C. Enough said. Some people think it's the best chipset on the market. Fully customizable via eScribe. You can load all your own themes. You can, you know, tinker with it any way you want as far as preheat punch and stuff like that. It's an awesome chipset. No doubt about it. It's a pro to think vape is using a DNA 250C in this mod. I like the setup by Think Vape, right? They set up a really nice color screen. I like the materials that they use on the screen. I like when companies add their own little touch to the screen when we're talking about DNAs. Think Vape did a nice job with that, man. Kudos to you. It's a pro. Let's get into that. Five star rating system. First category is going to be the looks. I already touched on that, right? It's got that semi industrial type of look, right? Definitely looks a little beefier than, say, something like the Lost Vape Centaurus, right? Maybe feels a little bit more substantial in your hand as well. In the looks category, I'm giving it a solid four stars. As far as the form factor goes, it does feel a little wider in your hand than something like the Centaurus. It is also a little heavier than something like that, okay? But it's got that heft of quality. Some people might not like that. In the form factor category, even though it's very comfortable in the hand, I don't quite like it as much as my Thelema 250C or my Centaurus, but it does feel good. We're going to give it three and three quarter stars. As far as performance goes, it's a DNA 250C chipset, right? You get all the custom themes if you want, right? You go download eScribe. You can customize it all you want. It's a fantastic chipset. It does great TC, very accurate in power mode, very accurate in reading your atomizers. It's going to get four and a half stars in the performance department just because it has a DNA. Now, as far as value goes, I've been seeing this thing anywhere from around $105, $107, all the way up to $159. So make sure you shop around. That's a pretty big price disparity. Now, I keep saying the Lost Vape Centaurus because that's its direct competitor, right, as far as I'm concerned. And I guess, you know, they both perform exactly the same, right? It all comes down to what are you willing to pay for, right? If you can find this cheaper, would you get it? Do you like the looks of this better than the Centaurus, right? That's what it comes down to the individual user for something uh, in the value category, right? When we're talking about value. Also, when we're talking about value, when you get up over $100, right? This type of money means different things to different people. So this is definitely a personal preference, right? In the value category, I'm going to rank it a point and a quarter above average, I'm going to say 3.75 because I do think if you get this close to the $100 mark, you're getting a very good value. We're going to take all these stars. We're going to add them up. We're going to come up with a total star count of 16. This thing did well across the board, and primarily it did well because of the chipset. The chipset makes this mod. We're going to take these 16 stars, we're going to divide them by four, and we're going to come up with an average star count of four stars, which makes this automatically Deuces Jack approved. Now, I have to say, man, I've said it a couple of times in this video. I've mentioned the Lost Vape Centaurus a lot. This is a good alternative to that. If the Lost Vape Centaurus or the new Thelema 250C is not your jam, you may want to check this thing out because it performs exactly the same. Let's get into some of the specs on the Think Vape Ogzo. It measures in at 90 by 55 by 29 millimeters. It weighs in at 190 grams. It has a 0.96 inch color TFT display. It will fire down to 0.08 ohms and it's a dual 18650 mod capable of 200 watts. It is primarily made out of zinc alloy and leather. It's available in black, blue, red, brown, and carbon. Don't forget, insiders, we got a great community over on Facebook called Vaping Insider Community. Bunch of knowledgeable people there. Very newbie friendly. We're all like family there. All we do is talk about vaping. I'm there 24-7. I would love to see you there as well. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. You. Keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.